Hi guys, it's Miss Montserrat here. I have chapter 11. It doesn't say, I forget that part. A lesson 13, chapter 11 homework. All right, here we go. So, this is our little problem, right? So that you can see it at home so you remember how do we do this? What are we doing again? I forget myself. So, we're talking about a bottle of cough syrup. It contains 120 milliliters of cough syrup, right? If I had little droppers, I'd have 120 little drops in this bottle. How many liters is 120 milliliters, right? It's not a huge bottle. It's not like a big bottle of water. So since one liter equals 1,000 milliliters, I'm going to divide 120 by 1,000. So 120 divided by 1,000, right? There's different ways I can do it. I'm going to say 120. Oops, I forgot that pen doesn't work. 120. It's such a cute pen. Divided by 1,000, right? Hopefully you can see this is already going to let me know this is going to be a decimal number. It's going to have a decimal in it. It's going to be smaller than zero, right? If I had 1,000 out of 1,000, I'd have one hole. I have less than one hole. And so, right, remember when we did pictures, I broke this up into 1,000 pieces, and then I only colored in 120 of them, right? I'd color in one whole row and 20 more of the next row, right? It's not very much, right? I'd have 10 rows. Sorry, I'd have 100 rows here by 100 rows here to get 1,000 little blocks. Then I'd color one whole row of 1,000, and I'd color 20 more, which would not even get me that high, right around there. Anyway, so since one, th one liter equals 1,000 milliliters, we divided, and I got 0 0.12, right? If you remember when we were doing fractions, um, I, I could say they're equal to decimals, because this is three zeros, right? I'm gonna go, okay, there's my three zeros, it's going to be one, two, zero, but I can get rid of this zero on the end. I don't need it, and I will have point one, two. I can also do my regular division problem, right? 120 divided by 1,000, and you might have to do it like this long way for a while until you start seeing it, right? It takes, it takes me forever to figure this stuff out, right? I will know, does 1,000 go into 1? No. Into 12? No. In 120? No. I'm out of numbers, but I know I can add a decimal place and a zero. Where I, on my decimal place, I bring it up here and put it in my answer as well. Can it go into 1,200? Yes, finally, one time. I'm going to multiply one times 1,000, and I'm going to get 1,000. I will subtract. I'll get 200. But I can't leave a remainder, right? I can't put my remainder up top as a numerator because I've already turned it into decimals. I'm not doing fractions. I'm doing decimals on this problem. So I'm going to add one more zero. I can do that after the decimal place. I can add as many as I need to, and I can add one more zero here. I bring down my zero. So now 1,000 into 2,000? Yes. Two times. 2 times 1,000 is 2,000. I subtract, then go 0, and I have the same answer. All right, so practicing, right? Different ways we can do this. 6 liters turning into milliliters, right? I have big liters. I'm going to separate it and count how many drops. I'm going to have a lot more drops. And I know where you're getting really good at this one, right? In 1 liter, there's 1,000 milliliters. So in 6, I'm just going to take 6 times 1,000. 6,000 milliliters. I have 13 liters now, and I want to turn it into milliliters. Right? All I need to do here, see we took the 6 and I added 3 zeros, 6 and add 3 zeros, right? I'm doing 13 times 1,000. So I'm just going to take my 13 and add my 3 zeros. One, two, three, comma. Oops, I forgot this comma over here too. One, two, three, comma. My next one, I have 54,000 milliliters turning into liters, right? In my powers of observation and my inverse operations, hopefully, right, you could see it's going to be 54. 
because <clears throat> I, if I had 54 liters and I turn it into 54,000 liters, right? Just like here, I had 13 liters, I turn it into 13,000 milliliters. Sorry, I said that backwards over here. I have 54 liters, so I'm turning into 54,000 milliliters. I'm just going backwards here instead of dividing. So same thing here, right? I'm going to go backwards here, but there's that five, right? It's not a nice, this one was thousand with my three zeros, so I could just move, boop, boop. This one has a five there. <clears throat> so it's going to be point five. I can divide it out, I can multiply it out. So if I have 11,000 milliliters turning into liters, right, I'm following this pattern here, three zeros, three zeros, right, three zeros, so I know my answer is just going to be an even 11. My next one, right, these kind of get a little trickier. I have 0.201 oh, liters, right, times milliliters. I'm still doing the same thing. I'm going to take 0.201 times 1,000, right, and hopefully you remember this little trick. I just go, I'm going to take my digits, 201, I'm going to add on my three zeros, but in my problem I had three digits behind the decimal place, so in my answer, when I multiply decimals, I put three numbers behind my division place, three digits behind my decimal place, one, two, three, boop. So my answer is going to be 201, right? My other trick is I take my 0 0.201, oops, and I know I need to move it three decimal places, right? I'm counting more. I'm going to have more little tiny drops than I do of liters. So I would just go one, two, three, move it there, and I will have 201, right? Because this is a one. I messed up. All right, on to the back. Yesterday, Audrey drank the liquids shown in the table. Right, this is my table. Maybe she drank the liquids on the table at the table, huh? but this is the ones in the table that my little chart, my little table here. How many liters of liquid did she drink in all? So I need to add these up, right? And it's going to be a little tricky here because they have milliliters, milliliters, and liters. <clears throat> and they asked me to put my answer in liters. How many liters of liquid did she drink in all? Okay, so she has 1.2 liters. She has 480 milliliters and 210 milliliters. So I, I'm going <clears> to, <throat> we, how about we'll do this real tricky. We're going to turn these all into liters since I want my answer in liters anyway. Okay, so and it'll give us practice for adding decimals, right? When I add decimals or subtract decimals, I line up the decimals. So I'll, I'll start with my water, 1.2, and I need to put my milliliters to add it to it, but in liters, right? 480 milliliters is equal to 480, right? I'm going to go one, two, three decimal places, so it's going to be 0.480, and I don't need the zero, I can just say 0.48, and this one is 210, so I'm going to move my decimal place over, so it's going to be 0.21 liters. Now I can add them together. I have to line up my decimal place, right? It's 0.21, and it's 0.48, now they're all in a nice line. Now I can add 8 plus 1, 9, 4 plus 2 plus 2, 8, bring down my decimal place, 1. So how much liquids she drank? Juice, she drank milk, and she drank water. All together she had 1.89 liters of liquid. All right, so here is Will. One serving, right, if you need to pause, you can pause. If you're not caught up with me, you can just pause. One serving of punch is 250 milliliters. 
Will ten servings fit in a two-liter bowl? Explain. Right, I have a two a bowl that is two liters, and I only have two hundred and fifty milliliters of punch. I want to figure out will it fit in the bowl? I already am going to say no. And let's see how much the um the bowl could hold. Right, if it if it holds two liters, we're going to say that would be how many milliliters? Oops, and don't listen to me because I read the question wrong. <laughs> but still, the answer is going to be no. It's not going to fit, right? It's going to overflow this bowl because the question was, I don't know why I put a capital no, capital N and O. I just need a capital N. Um, will 10, I, I'm like reading it wrong. I'm like, kids, this kid's name is Will. No, they're asking me a question. Will 10 servings fit in a two liter bowl? No. How much is 10 servings is going to be? I'm going to say, 250 milliliters times 10 will equal 2,500, right? Times 10, I just take my number and put a zero at the end, is going to equal 2,500 milliliters and, I'm going to do a complete sentence, and 2 liters, that fits in the bowl, right, is only 2,000 milliliters, right? I know 2 liters equals 2,000 milliliters. I take 2 times 1,000, and we'll give them a final answer. The bowl is too small. I should say it will fit, I'll just have extra, but... Okay, so here's Nara. Nara received a me measles immunization at Dr. Arroyo's office. The vaccine was measured in cubic centimeters. A cubic centimeter has the same capacity as a milliliter. If the immunization was 3.5 cubic centimeters, how many milliliters was it? What a great question. Sometimes you know I don't like their questions, but I do like this one. So, right, I don't even really need to do anything here. I don't need to know about milliliters or liters, anything, but we will look at this for two, right? If the immunization was 3.5 cubic centimeters, how many milliliters was it? They just told me a cubic centimeter has the same capacity as a milliliter, right? The same, it holds the same amount. So I would just say it's 3.5 milliliters. Right, remember a cubic centimeter, right, if I measure distance, I measure how long something is. And here, so I, that's not even up to scale, but it's a cubic, right, I'm measuring the area, right, the area, that, the space of this liquid, of this vaccine, of this immunization, of the measles immunization, how much space it takes up. And they're telling me that it takes up the same amount of cubic centimeters as it's the same if I measure milliliters, it's the same capacity. All right, so fill in the blank with the correct word. Sorry, I hope that makes sense, right? A cubic centimeter measures, but not just the length, it measures the area, right? So I'm, I would be measuring this liquid that was in the vaccine, <clears throat> and it says it's the same capacity. Anyway, the blank is an appropriate unit of measure, is an appropriate unit to measure the capacity of a hand sanitizer bottle. Right, what would I use to measure a hand sanitizer bottle? I would definitely use Well, I don't know, I shouldn't say definitely, because now with COVID, right, these bottles of hand sanitizer are getting pretty big. I have little tiny body baby bottles of hand sanitizer, or not super big ones. So we're going to use, so I'm not going to say for sure. If you put liter, I totally understand why. Oops, and I did millimeter instead of milliliter. L. Thank 
God for whiteout. M I L L I. Where am I at? L I T E R. Right, millimeter measures length. I don't want millimeter, I want liter, how much liquid it measures. All right, the blank is an appropriate unit of measure to measure unit to measure the capacity of the water in a fountain, right? A big old fountain where I see statues in. I'm going to use a liter for that one. I need a lot more water than little eyedroppers in my milliliter. All right, my next one. A soup bowl can hold 400 milliliters of soup. A restaurant has 8 liters of vegetable soup. How many bowls of soup can they serve? Right, one bowl is 4 thousand milliliters. I have eight liters, which means I have eight thousand milliliters. Right, I know eight liters would turn into eight thousand milliliters. I'm going to divide that by 400 milliliters in each bowl and see how many bowls I get. Can 400 go into eight? No. Into 80? No. Into 800? Yes. So I'm going to write my start writing my answer above the 800. Something times 400 is 800. 2, right? 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract. I get a 0. How many times can 400 go into 0? No times. 0 times. 0 times 400 is 0. I'm done. I used all my numbers. I don't need any decimals. And I know I have 20 bowls of soup.